Hi, it's Go Go Media Girl, and I'm here with, I'm at um, YFM radio station with Jenny, and so what's your job? I'm a news reader, a news reporter, a news broadcaster, that's what I do. So that entails reading the news, writing stories, calling sources, and basically just putting out the word that Kate Middleton, for example, has just given birth. So all the things that are news, I, I'm all about that. So you're like a reporter? I'm a news reporter, yes. Oh. So do you um, report stuff on TV? I report everything that happens in the world. So if, for example, there's a hurricane in Hawaii, then I'm going to report on it. I'm going to basically tell the story so that people stay informed. That's what I do. So you go learn about people's private lives and you talk about it? Private and public is not really, it's relative to, to what your definition is of public and private, but I tell the news. What is, what is happening in the world or what people do is news. Okay. So yes, I guess I speak about private lives. How would, how would you feel if you were the person who was getting spoke, talked about? Well, the, 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 the good thing is that I'm on this side of the news, so I don't think it's very possible for people to talk about me, but I would feel like if I'm doing something public that people should know about, that, you know, that is what it is. Because if I was a criminal, for example, then that's, that's um, public property. People should know if I'm a criminal. They should know to stay away from me. So there isn't really a feeling about it. If I was on the other side of the news, I guess I deserve it. Governments and presidents, they deserve to be on the news. If, if Barack Obama comes to South Africa, we're going to talk about it. Okay. Yeah, what skills do you need doing your job? You need to be proficient in the language that we all speak internationally, a.k.a. English. You need to be able to read and write. You need to be able to speak clearly so that people can hear you. Because if you're reading a news bulletin um, and somebody can't hear you because you're mumbling, then you're not serving the purpose because people don't get the news. So you need to know English. You need to know your numbers. It helps to know your numbers because you need to convert numbers every now and then, you know, from rand to dollar, for example. And yes, so it's, it's English and numbers. Everybody needs to know their numbers, actually. And you need to have a good general knowledge of the world around you. What do you like about your job? What's the cool part? The cool part um, should be interviews and getting to know other people and what they think about certain things. Because I find out a lot about other industries from just interviews and asking people, so what does your job entail? Um, so what what's going to happen if the price of fuel goes up, oh no, what's going to happen is food, food's going to get more expensive, etc. Those type of things you find out about just from interviewing people. Okay. Any tips, if somebody wants to do your job, any tips on how to get the job or what you should do when you're doing your job? I think it's very important for kids, girls, boys, everyone to stay in school because skills are very short in the world and that's the reason why we have a problem of no jobs or no employment because we don't have enough skills. So school is firstly paramount and important but after that I think it's important to be confident because confidence gets you any kind of job anywhere. You get there and you convince people just by being extra confident that I'm the greatest person for this job and you can't hire anyone else. So what I would um, uh, what I would say is, is mostly important is for you to practice if you want to do, say, radio or TV or whatever you want to go into, you need to practice because practice makes perfect. And you need to stay in school because education is paramount. And, well, yes, you need to be confident. Uh, yeah, so do you work with guys then? They're like, oh, you're a woman, so they like think you're an underdog or something? Um, I find that a lot of the time in my job, women are sort of seen as smaller, yes. You, you, you could say they are undermined a bit, but then you can use that as an advantage, you see, because when people think that you're small, then you can just surprise them by being big. And for, for example, if people just see you as a woman, a shape, and hair and pretty and there's nothing in between you just surprise them by having an extremely crazy general knowledge and being able to kill them with knowledge cool.
You kill people. <laughs> I kill people. Like literally, I just stare at them. I speak, and then they're dead. <laughs> they fall. Mm, okay. You're pretty awesome. <laughs> You're gonna kill media. Exactly. You I don't see, know if I wanna do that. You don't wanna be a killer. I like being a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Um, so that was Jenny at YFM radio station. Go, go, media girl.